Good afternoon. Time to wrap it up for August the 26, 2014. My, how time flies when you're having fun. Okay, we came in this morning with an up bias. We thought the market was going to trade to uh, 2000. We were hoping to buy 93s to 95s. But we said we might have to pay up. And we had one shot against 95 down here before the market opened off of the uh, uh, worse than expected news this morning. Uh, and the market traded up from there. So here's a retest failure. Could enter the market in the 98.50 area. Small winner. Here's another retest failure, mean green trade. Could enter the market at the mean green line, which is a little general trade against 97. Um, market eventually trades up to um, 2,275. Little triple top right here. Here was the only short that set up during the day. You were short at 175. And the market, with a whole lot of patience, finally got down to 97. So. Um, the buy side was the side to trade from. Uh, the market did, we did get the direction right on this. So uh, there were small trading profits for you. Uh, our preferred sell zone was this 2004. We didn't quite, quite get there. So we're going to go out today. It looks like we're going to close it in the 1999 area. That would be at a higher volume level than the yesterday. Uh, so this market uh, still structurally favors a retest of today's highs and or higher prices. So we had a pretty good day trading. Now on to the bigger picture stuff. From which side to trade? You know, getting the direction right is the most important decision a trader comes to each day. And our F1 screen is the ca our capital flow. This is where the big boys have to play because they can't fill their orders um, on a day trade basis. Uh, they are forced to build positions over a couple of three days. So what you see right here is just nothing but buying. For whatever the reason, you say the fundamentals don't support it. Well, they haven't supported, uh, consistently supported higher prices since March of 2009. Yet the market has come up uh, and has rallied, what, five years now? So this is cap flow. This is where the money comes into the market, the large institutional. You can see we've got a higher low and a higher high, and that favors the buyer. Looking at the F2 screen, is it confirmed? And uh, F2 screen is our profile. And it is the 30-minute time frame. And this is where the exchange members operate. And these are the guys that trade technically, that do side, that price discovery, all sorts of uh, different attributes are assigned to or given to them. They're in it to make money. And the way they make money is by gunning stops. And by gunning stops, they see how many buy and sell orders they kick off. Uh, and that is characterized as price discovery. So we have a view pattern today. Volume is higher. So the structure is still a P, and it does favor higher prices. Now, the only thing we have tomorrow are crude inventories. So that's not market changing news. So we're going to have another quiet session. Uh, why are we higher? End of August, uh, large money managers are not interested in uh, uh, shutting down um, their uh, management compensation. So there will be reluctant sellers in here. And my guess is we're going to close on Friday above 2000 and probably before. So even though we've got ourselves a B pattern, um, we can, I, I still want to be a buyer on weakness. Well, the easiest trade to see right here is to sell failure to take out 2002, 2004. And then um, our next trade in the 205 area, so we'll make uh, 2008, 2010. And the assumption that if we take out 2004, we're going to go higher, not just get stops above today's highs. On the buy side, um, 97, 98, I think they can get stops beneath that with the um, B pennants. We'll make 93, 95. We're going to leave it just the same as we did this morning. 
and then we'll make 90 plus or minus for by 2. Uh, the international news, um, the Ukraine wants to side, sign trade agreements uh, with the European Union. Uh, they think they're, they've got better chances to grow and prosper under the European Union. I would say that's probably true, considering what they've got under Russia. But what happens over there in all those economies uh, they call them the oligarchs, but they're really the kleptocrats. Uh, whoever gets to the top of the heap uh, gets to exploit and loot their country, and it's just it's the way of all dictatorships, uh, no matter what they call it. One election, one free election, uh, where the bad guys are better organized than anybody else, and then they assume power and then solidify it and uh, you deal with the next group of dictators. Okay, on to the uh, note this morning. Uh, we wanted to sell fives to nines. The high was six and a half. Um, it is an auction week. The pattern has been higher auction prices for each auction, so I'm more interested in the buy side than the long side. We got this high volume number here at uh, 25, 26. Uh, we got a higher low and a higher high, so the capital is flowing in on the long side today, although the knob spread did come in. You can see that pretty un the, the volume is building in this 2830 area right here. You can see it in all the high volume numbers. So I uh, want to buy into weakness to see if we can trade, trade it up. And a higher low and a higher high says it still favors the buy side. Looking at the F2 screen, we have a B, which says we might be able to buy it cheaper, especially if the E-mini rallies. So we're going to leave our buy at 29, 25. Hope to buy it a little cheaper, but we, again, we may have to pay up, like we did this morning, and then 17 to 21. If there's going to be a weak auction, it'll be the intermediate term, the five-year auction. Uh, and back in the old days, the short end was up, the intermediate term was down, and the long end was up. And they used the intermediate term, selling the intermediate term to set up the long end. Um, right here, the last rotate up and C stopped at 4.5, and, and L's at 02, or currently at 05, so we're going to sell failure to take out uh, 4 to 8. And I don't see how we trade above that unless we get some big help from a piece of news or a meltdown in the E-mini. Okay, the knob spread did come in today. The... Um, 30 year, and we were able to buy it a little bit, then uh, we're actually able to get one that on the first rotate down, so that one worked out pretty well for us. Uh, definitely a B pattern, just like the other one. So we are pointed a little lower, and we got volume down here at 4002. That's quite a ways off. We have lows below 4010. We're at 17, so we're going to try to buy nines to 13s. Pretty aggressive. But as soon as this stabilizes, the knob spread will probably take off to the upside. And a one to five for buy two. Then on the sell side, we're at 17. We're going to sell failure to take out 20 to 24. And then 27s to 31s. Okay, gold, um, peace in the Ukraine, between Russia and the Ukraine, brings in sellers, no doubt. 
Uh, United States printing less money brings in sellers, no doubt. Um, the opposite brings in buyers. So I think there's enough political unrest that it's hard for me to see the bottom falling out of the market. We've had a pretty good buyer in the 75 area. And then we had the breakout from 80. So we've got a B pattern. We're pointed lower. Let's try 80, 82 for buy one. And then 75, 77 for buy two. Loved our sell this morning at 90 to 92. Last rotate up, stopped at 86. Have a single print at 87.50. So 88 to 90, sell one. We'll give it a little room. May have to engage from the short side, see where the London opening is at a little bit lower level. And then 93, 95 for S2. Okay, crude, uh, again, crude and gold are always one headline away uh, from an explosive rally. Uh, gold is one central bank intervention away from getting from you know much lower prices. Uh, but the way the news works is is that uh, the news, news face higher prices in both of these contracts. Uh, so uh, I think we're in a trading range, and again, just structurally, the best sell has been against 50. We're at A391. Uh, last rotate stopped at 16, so this is going to be pretty aggressive, but 94, 94, 25, sell one. Then 50 to 75, sell two. And we'll be looking for a tax uh, in Russia or Iraq, or Syria, or Israel, or Libya uh, uh, come London time before we really, really, really commit. And then 93.25 to 50 for buy one. And then 275 to 93 even for buy two. Now the APIs uh, are out tonight. Uh, the EIA uh, inventory report is out tomorrow. They're looking for a build of one million barrels. Uh, the United States can now export. And part of the reason for that is, is that uh, our refineries have uh, been set up to run heavy crude from Venezuela and from the Middle East and the light West Texas Intermediate. I mean, who would have thought that we would have this much WTI coming in? Nobody is having to be trucked or uh, rail railroaded uh, to the refining centers. Uh, some little tiny 50 to 100,000 barrel per day refineries are um, in the process, a couple of them are being reopened in the Midwest right here. And it just shows you how quickly technology can th change things. Um, the um, Five years ago, you wouldn't have dreamed of doing this. And then right now, uh, here we are with WTI uh, running out our ears. And we've added like 3 million barrels of production over the last five years per day. Uh, to what we're doing. So it's, it really, really is significant news, and it has significantly impacted the market. I'm going to leave this on an H split so we can't miss where support and resistance are. So we got this X print here at 80. We've got this imprint here close to 80. We've got this bell from 91. So 80 to 91, 90 is cell 1. And then 2 even to 210 is cell 2. I think we are headed lower, so we're going to make 50 to 60 by one. An assumption that we eventually get down to 131 even. Uh, that'd be a nice put play if you want to take that. Then on the buy side, uh, we're leaning against 3150, so we're going to make uh, 20 to 30 the next buy zone. But as you know, I don't particularly care for the long side of the market. 
because we're in a downtrend and we've been in a downtrend and the uh, central bank supports that selling. And it's really, really difficult to go against central bank policy profitably. Okay, it'll take 15, well, probably take 20 minutes to get everything up and posted because of the compilation time for the video. So I'll get started on that.